Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to the Project 1999 EverQuest Classic server with your host, Relinar. Now here we are grinding gnolls in High Pass Hold, and we've been prompted for any orc scalps for sale. Unfortunately, we only have gnoll scalps, so let's see if he's interested. been grinding here since level 21. We are now 24 and a little bit. I wanted to collect 200 and then head over to the tunnel and sell them all at once, maybe even in bulk, but we'll see if we can have our buyer come right to us. not interested in no scalps then well no one will ever see this video oh he is he's going to buy them all okay heading to Wow, that is a boatload of cash. Now, I actually ha haven't gone over the setup video for this, so this is actually happening before that. But I will show this after the setup video, so just saying. And we have been grinding, grinding, grinding gnolls such that the citizens and the guards now regard us as dubious. So we have free license to move about in Highhold Pass. Bridge, and then another bridge. And then we're almost through. Just gonna get by these orcs, but that shouldn't be a problem. We'll just sledge mallet it through. Here we are. Well, with this sale, we're basically halfway towards our goal of 4,000 plat for the Teodal cultural set. Is anybody here? Yep. These orcs are being annihilated. Let's see, now the other question is, what time is it? It's 1 p.m. Excellent. So that means Kithakor should be a breeze to get through. I just need to watch out for the rangers. I think I will just go ahead and go along the zone wall just for safety reasons. I really don't want to do a corpse run in the middle of a sail. we're going to continue to grind more null scalps. What luck to be prompted by such a nice, very nice sale. The orc scalps I will do a separate video on. We're just not able to farm them just yet. We just don't have high enough level. As I'll probably say in the setup video, the orcs spawn so closely together that it's very hard to single pull them unless you're high level. And I don't think 24-25 is going to be high enough. I'm thinking 35 would be high enough. Also there's a the name that spawns there that drops the shiny brass idol which is 
very sellable item for around 600 plat. It has a one charge clicky of invulnerability for I think 18 seconds. So a lot of high level pullers and raiders want that item. But again, I'll probably do a separate video on that when we are at the appropriate level. I really wish I had Spirit of the Wolf, but I don't. Fortunately, these old world zones are pretty small. Yes, I will take rats and bixies over the multitude of high level undead and kithakor at night. That would have complicated our little delivery here. All the null scalps for sale at once. It's like a dream come true. funny too because I was leaving, I was just about leaving, I was going to get this final null scalp and then I was going to leave to set up the setup video but hey you gotta take the money when it comes so we'll be doing that almost to the other side of the zone. Oh, some burnt down house. Wrecked by zombies, no doubt. He's in hmm, unknown zone. Yeah, get out of here, Pixie. Get out of here. I'm busy. This will be the biggest single seal yet of our young careers here on P99. The six stacks of leather padding is 1200, and this is going to be 1590. Yes, we are getting there. All from doing these simple things that you can do when you just start a character, which is the whole point of this whole series. Bye bye, Big C. Oh, he's in the over there. That's okay. He can probably get a port here pretty quickly. From uh, the good people at Dialaport. And look, there's a Dialaporter right there. And over there. So he should have no trouble. No trouble getting a port. Now I do have to be careful at the Druid Ring because the Druids still hate me. A lot of hate for the Dark Elf Warrior of Inarok. Love it.
Hate me more. I love it. There's the wizard spire, the pyramid. The druid is just over this hill, the druid ring. Ah, excellent. There it is. Just hang out here till he arrives. How oh, Everquest. How timely of you. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but that is thunder. Eagle has landed. Whew, it's going to be a slow run back to Nariak, but a sweet one. Look at all these corpses everywhere. He says he's here, but he's probably a slow loader. So let's be patient. And looks like there he is. Oh, wow, okay. I'll stand up so he doesn't think I am logging out. That would be rude. <laughs> Much obliged. Usually people do the opposite. If you have a lot of something, they want to purchase it in bulk so their per unit cost is lower, but some people are just so happy to get a lot. Yeah, they give you a little bonus. All right. We'll take it. Our efforts are well paid. So this guy's name is Tinfoil. Yep, it's going to be a slow walk to Nereak. You know, hopefully we're at the Druid Ring. Maybe I can get a so before we can go. That would be fantastic. Fact, I might start lobbying for it. Encumbered noob six so at Druid Ring. Story at eleven.
So we are looking for a tiny no mage named Tinfoil. He seems to be a slow loader, so I'm assuming he's switching accounts to log into this other character, so it might be a minute or two. <laughs> we get a response. And Inca says, I can't wait a whole six EQ hours for that new story. So worth it. And yeah, we did have some porters come back in here, so let's let's beg again. See if we get lucky. Begging with humor tends to help out a bit. Frugart. Portia begins to cast a spell. Frugart begins to cast a spell. One of those. Oh, here it is. Tinfoil. Alright. With this sail, we are doing very well for ourselves now. Gonna head over to Nariak, unload to the bank, and then I'm gonna set up for the video that I wanted to do before this one, and then I'm gonna release this one afterward. Alright, until next time, safe travels.